going on YouTube? Showman back at ya. Doing a bit of a beer review today, but um, smoking a little Mario Grande, and uh, smoking my own mixture, which is uh, a little bit of berry cobbler, um, no bite to light. Um, Black raspberry. And peaches and cream. So I mixed that. I've had that sitting for um, a good year, I guess. Yeah, last summer I uh, bottled that up, put it on my cellar, and um, really... To be honest with you, just realized that it's been down there. Haven't smoked this since well before um, my trip with the Wrecking Crew to see Mark Balkovec and Mr. Jake Hackert. Remember that SUV well, my man Johnny, and he smokes, smoking Dagna's, Dagna Performance. And of course, uh, as we got close, taking over the reins, the Polish Piper. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Just uh, waved over to my father. And, um. It has been a long time since I've done a video. I know. Uh, I got promoted to the warehouse manager's job, and I just got back from Cleveland, Ohio. Would have loved to get out and um, done some fishing out there on Lake Erie. Cleveland's got some um, fantastic uh, architecture, micro breweries, um, just a happening place all in the middle of town, mind you. Um, a lot of people live out on the outskirts of town. Uh, but compared to New England, the prices, you know, I talked to some of the, some of my uh, corporate members out in Cleveland. They said, uh, well, uh, one girl said, I bought myself a little two-bedroom house, $45,000, paid it off. Um, you know, I got a three-bedroom house, it's about two, $200,000 here in uh, Rhode Island. She said, uh, oh my God, for $200,000, you know, for $150,000, she said, you could get a four-bedroom palatial place with a whole lot of land for like 50 grand cheaper than I've got. So, all depends on where you live.
So in any case, uh, I wanted to do a beer review because um, my buddy John and I are really into craft beers, and he knows more about beers than I than I do. But I've been drinking craft beers for a long time. Never thought of the complexity, but since we do videos on tobacco so much, um, the processes and the complexity of these uh, craft beers are unbelievable. And so um, we have a place uh, down in our neck of the woods called Founders. And this is a called Breakfast Stout. And uh, looks a little something like that. And as you can see, founders, as you can see, it's a double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. And um, if you um, just go to your, if you go to your liquor store and you buy yourself a case of Bud Light or Bud, and uh, you're like, hey, that's it, man, I got my Bud for the week. You're not doing yourself justice, I'll tell you. Uh, one week. Throw a few extra bucks for a six-pack of uh, a craft beer. And just taste it. Do yourself a favor. You might still go back to your Bud or your Bud Light. But Bud and Bud Light is the most generic. My grandfather up the road, I just cut his grass today. He drinks Stroh's Light. Uh, I think a 15-pack of Stroh's Light cans are about seven bucks for 15 beers. Um, like eight bucks or something. And so, you know, you might say to yourself, well, you know, I might want, uh, you know, I want, a, I want a, a case of beer. Maybe you want a 30 pack of beer, 30 pack of Bud, maybe cost you 19 or 20 bucks. I don't know where you're living, but, uh, that's about the going rate. You, uh, you know, when you get specials, 20, 21 bucks for 30 beers of Bud. Um, uh, Bud Light. So the breakfast stout, now uh, this costs us about, that beer right there costs about 15 bucks for a four pack. Maybe, maybe 13 or 14 bucks for a four pack. Four pack. Buy it just once. That's all I'm saying. Just try it once and say, all right, you know, this week I'm just going to put a ex few extra bucks. I'm going to buy something um, and taste it. Good Lord. The difference between that beer and what you're drinking is phenomenal. And so you might still like in the hot weather, your Bud Light, and I do too, Narragansett or... Um, what are the light beers you guys got? I'll drink the Corona with the lime. I'm not ashamed to say it. But. You're pissing it out in about um, 15 minutes. Ain't you? Support the environment. Get yourself some home life um, matches. As I'm looking, I think my wife picked me up the ones that aren't actually green with the leaf on them. But So the beer review, in any case, breakfast stout, founders, it's a little pricey for your average beers, but um, you're not pounding these back. These are um, heavy, full-bodied, uh, something to be treasured beers. 
Just like a glass of wine, a decent glass of wine would be. Most of the time when you're uh, getting craft beers, they're aged in some sort of barrel, just like whiskey would be. In fact, some of the craft beers are actually aged in whiskey barrels. Um, makes the alcohol t content a little higher. Um, this particular beer is 8.3% alcohol by volume which is more alcohol than your uh, the beer you're drinking put it like this we're all pipe smokers you can go out and get yourself um, a cheap tobacco or a cigar uh, you can go out and get yourself um, pretty much if you're drinking Bud or Bud Light um, you know, on Miller or whatever it happens to be as far as a beer. If you're drinking one of these things, one of these types of beers, you're pretty much saying that I'm going to go to the, the tobacco shop and I'm going to buy myself some Garcia Vegas or some Phillies or something like that. I'm going to smoke those as far as um, cigars go. If you want a Monte Cristo or Romeo Giulietta or a... Um, you know any of that stuff um, you know you want one of the um, higher end cigars Ashton or uh, Cohiba what you basically want to do is uh, you want to try just try a uh, craft beer and say yeah, I'm gonna spend a couple extra bucks on that and try it you won't be disappointed. Guaranteed. So, 13 minute video, eh? I'm still uh, working it. I ain't done. Like anything else, you um, practice, it'll make perfect. Generic pipe tool from uh, Boswell's. Joe Case, a shout out to you, sir. You're doing a hell of a job, my man. I gotta get a Sleepy Hollow. I gotta do it before Halloween this year and then do a video smoking the Sleepy Hollow walking around outside with the kids. Gotta do it. Something orange and black. A little silver mixed in that band. Mm-hmm. Joe Case, banging them out. Of course, my heart always goes back to the Steel Sea Killer, Mark Balkovec. Shout out to Salam. Haven't seen you around, bro, but um, I know you're out there. I see the Instagram posts every now and then. Still doing the Casa Albana. Yeah, these guys. One man smoke. Salam got me uh, into pipe smoking. Now he's back into cigars. I was in cigars for years. And uh, I can't turn away. 
That is the way to go. I can't get away from it. Had a very nice Romeo and Juliet the other night uh, with my former boss. Very good, but um, it was really nothing like smoking a bowl of Northwoods to me in one of my favorite pipes. If you done with a bowl, just pack into the bowl. Shout out to all the elitists out there that think that their videos and their uh, higher morality above all of the other guys that are just chilling on the weekend, smoking their average pipes with their tobacco, and um, looking down upon us like the powers above. Still a shout out to you guys. To each his own. Whatever makes you feel good. Your 5,000 subscribers and sitting on your perch. Shout out to Bella and Brady who both got their um, report cards, uh, schools out, and they all did uh, pretty much every class was better uh, than they did previously in the year. So um, they really progressed this year. So uh, shout out to my kids. For working hard. Uh, Daddy's been busy at work, so um, it's a good thing to know you guys are uh, succeeding. Getting her done! Alright, guys, so um, I've been on this thing for like 17 minutes. It's probably not going to post, it's probably too long to post. If it is, I'll have to do it all over again. Try to make it a little more interesting than I already did. Just wanted to say um, to the new guys, keep banging those videos out. Keep that train rolling. Hope the weather's nice where you're at. Fourth of July coming up. And the showman will be back at you. Peace.